my name is Green and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. It turns out that I'm not the only one that doesn't want this mansion. No one has come to buy this at all, so um, I think immediately the first thing we need to do is lower this price. For sale, 50 diamonds. There we go, half price, 50% off. Please, someone buy this mansion, it's not that ugly. <laughs> Right, let's head over to Sahara very, very quickly. I've got a few jobs that I want to do in today's episode, including a bit of spring cleaning. It's, it's not spring. It's obviously winter still. It's only January. But um, I think it's time we did a bit of cleaning. So I said this last episode, but actually I've been saying this for a few episodes. I want to finish this, but I need more white concrete. So I remade this. But the issue is I didn't know what to do. So... Um, I'm just gonna do it anyway, and hope for the best. That's honestly the best I can do. As far as I'm aware, it's not too difficult, but, you know, knowing me, this is gonna end very, very badly. So as far as I'm aware, the only bit of trickery is that this detector rail right here needs to be placed facing north or south. So I think it's as simple as that, basically. You put the minecart on, you put the TNT somewhere. Oh, it's got to be right under it. Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, dead coral here. TNT here. And then you put the minecart. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. All right, I've had a little look at a tutorial, and it's, it's, yeah, it's, there's a little bit more trickery than I thought. You can't just set it up exactly how it was. Okay, I think that's it. I need to activate it once, maybe? So, I think that's it. I think that's it activated. It's not blowing up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, is this it? Did I do it? <gasps> Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Wait, it did work. It did work! It did work! It's alive! I thought that was... <laughs> it looks like it's gonna blow up there, though. Oh, it is! It is! Why? Why? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> what did... <laughs> What did I do wrong? I know exactly, exactly what I did wrong. There we go. That's better. <laughs> now let's let's do this thing again. And this time, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, this is mildly annoying. Mildly annoying. I definitely did something wrong here. I feel like it was something very stupid, like one block of white concrete out of place and it stopped the TNT or I was one block over. Uh, okay, right, let's, re let's remake this thing. <laughs> the first time it seemed like it was working and I must have gotten away with it, but then... Yeah, now I, now I know what Mumbo was saying. Wise words of Mumbo. He said something along the lines of, Hey, Green. Make sure you uh, make sure you do this properly, or it's gonna blow up. Okay, it's done again. I really don't want to have to make this for a third time. I think I know what was wrong. I didn't have these furnaces full, maybe, and maybe some of these timings were off, and that's what did it. It's as simple as that. This controls um, this down here, which, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's, it's actually fairly simple. Um, after making this a few times, I actually understand how it works. So this controls the exact time to release the TNT, and then it holds it here for just a second so that it can explode in the middle of the air. Now, my issue, I think, was that my timings were all wrong, so when I turned this off, there was still a TNT left here. Bada bing, bada boom, explosion. So I just need to activate this. That has primed the TNT. And then 
Uh, that looks like it's working. That seems to be about right. So let's just give this a quick test. So if I start placing some concrete powder. Yeah, as it, it, well, it seems to be working. Okay, let's start printing. There's a stack. I think this, I think this is working. And now, the big question, will it turn off? <laughs> hey! Oh, the mustache has done it. I did it, I did it, I did it. I did a redstone. Okay, right, I, <laughs> I did do a redstone. However, I've got to admit, this isn't my design or anything, but I did make it work and I do understand it. I could probably build this again. I understand things. So what now? Now we can get going on printing out the rest of my white concrete. To be honest, most of this will be fine uh, if I'm going to be building half of it underground. So now what I'm going to do is spend quite a lot of time getting the white concrete together to build the rest of this. We're going to make two more of these, as I promised a long time ago, but now we're actually going to do it. So another time lapse, here we come. So I'm going to whiz through these time lapse segments a little bit quicker than usual, just because the build on this isn't actually that interesting. It's literally the four corner thing and it's just to decorate and well, finish my build but I, I didn't want to waste too much time with it. So there we are, it's done, easy. There we go, it is officially finished. Now, the, the this is really embarrassing. Um, I didn't actually need to fix the TNT machine. I actually have quite a lot of concrete powder left over. So that was a little bit unnecessary, but at the same time, I did blow this up. So it's probably a good idea that I sorted it out. So I press tab as well. Look at Iskal's face. What is, what is going on? What? What? I don't even, I don't even want to know. So there's one more thing that I want to do in this episode and it's to do with these, the numerous shulker boxes that I own. Now you might remember a long time ago, I actually put in my bucket list to do on Hermitcraft is an item sorter and even on my second layer of my base I actually started putting things into chests well actually I didn't I made the chest but I never actually did anything with them hey look some TNT okay uh, yeah I didn't do much with these so what we're going to do we're gonna go on a little mission we're gonna go and collect all of the shulker boxes that I've left strewn across this map I'm gonna try and find all of them and we're gonna we're gonna sort this mess out this chest monster's gotten out of hand and it's time to put a stop to it so we can kick things off by putting all of these shulker boxes in and now we have to try and remember where we've left everything because that's another problem I have no idea where half the stuff is I know that I've my most recent project was over here and of course there's a load of shulker boxes this is going to be ridiculous. Now here's the issue with this whole situation. I've got so many shulker boxes that I don't know what to do with and I really should have made a item system. The problem is we're so far into season six. I mean look at that already. I've only done one trip. We've got loads more to go and get. We're so far into season six that it almost seems pointless making an item filter or sorter at all. The minigame district and hippie land probably has a bunch of shulker boxes for us to collect. You know, in season seven, I am 100% making an item sorter very, very quickly. As soon as I have the materials, that is one of the things that's happening. I am not letting this happen again. Oh yeah, there's loads in this house as well. I think I've got a problem. I genuinely think I've got a little bit of an issue. Look at this. So many shulker boxes. And you know what? There's probably more down here as well. I completely forgot about this little room in here. So I'm inconsistent with where I leave them. There was one shulker box in here. Oh, there's even... There's more upstairs. Oh my goodness. There's, I don't have the space. I genuinely don't have the space for all of these. Okay, I can put some in my ender chest over here. And then I could collect more. This is going to be several trips, I think, in order to get all my stuff. Think this is mine? 
The issue is, I'm not the only one on this server that leaves shulker boxes absolutely everywhere. So you've got to try and identify which ones are yours. I cleared this out and yet no one wants, uh, no one wants this. This is still for sale. There's probably way more locations that I've just forgotten about. This one is probably where most of them are as well, because I know I've left a lot here. Spring cleaning. Yep, run out of space. Okay, right, we've got to take all these back now. Another trip. This is going to take a little while, actually. Okay. Round two. The chest monster grows. And on this episode of Hoarders, Grian has a serious issue with shulker boxes. He can't seem to throw anything away. And it's starting to pile up on him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's just so much rubbish everywhere. Okay, right. We need to go and get even more stuff. I actually need some fireworks. See, this is part of the problem. I actually need things, and there's probably some fireworks somewhere in here. But who knows where? I mean, just look at the rubbish in here. There's probably nothing useful in any of these. Whoa. That might come in handy. Okay, a couple more collections, and uh, I think I might have found most of them by now. And that's not even including the stuff that's in normal chests that I've just left lying around. Okay, I think I've got all of the chests from this area. I've checked all the projects that I've done. Oh man, this is looking awesome. I'm waiting, I'm waiting very patiently for this to open. Talk about shulker box monsters. This is something that I've been waiting for. This is a uh, boom box by Tango and I don't want to spoil anything. But um, that is a game that isn't quite open yet, but I'm really hoping that I can play it soon because well, I, I'm still, you have to remember, I'm still new to Hermitcraft. I might have been playing for two years, but I haven't been part of any other season. So this is a game that he's made previously, but I've actually never got to play. Okay, building it up even further. <laughs> this is ludicrous. This is way bigger than I ever thought this was going to be. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an issue. That is a solid shulker box monster. Or am... Or am I the monster? <laughs> this has been a mess. This has been a two-year-long mess in the making, and I'm slightly proud of it in a weird way. I'm slightly proud of it. Now, I can't find any more, but I'm pretty sure there's still loads of shulker boxes around. Probably even in places like Sahara, I've left some shulker boxes just lying around. Wait, what about the Dragon Bro base? Probably left loads in there. Oh, please don't be trapped. Please don't be trapped. I'm not in the mood for more trappage. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. There's always more. There's going to be loads of these everywhere. We may even have to look further back in time. Maybe I left some shulker boxes back here at the G-Team base. I mean, this was a really long time ago, but I have a feeling I did empty the shulker boxes here. But, uh, I'm not entirely sure. You know what? I can't even remember how we get into here. I think- Oh, yeah, there might be somewhere at the back. There- Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, wow, this is- This is a trip down memory lane. Nope, yep, there's some shulker boxes. Okay, to be fair, this is mostly empty, but there's still shulker boxes. Wow, this really is a trip down memory lane. It's been a long time since we were here. Okay, I did- I did gut the place. There is- There is nothing here. Hold the phone? Yes, please. Oh my goodness, how many firework rockets did I make? It's always useful to go and uh, explore this sort of thing. Okay, I'm I'm convinced now. I've done a proper look around. You've only seen part of it, but I've I've looked at all my projects now, and I'm pretty sure I've gotten most of the stuff. I'm not really entirely sure what to say about this, other than, oopsie, we could be looking at several hours' work. Well, more than several hours work, tens of hours of work to get this in an item sorter or even just manually sift through this stuff and put it upstairs. It could take days or I could just leave this in the season six download and, um, you know, this is a bit of a monument and this is a promise to myself. Be better. Do, do not do this next season. This is embarrassing. 
Everyone's embarrassed. Okay, now we have this shulker box monster ready. It's time to actually store it away. And, you know, because of this, because of this pile of shulker boxes, I think, well, there's got to be consequences. I'm not going to be making the item sorter like I said I would at the beginning of the season. And for some reason, you guys are holding to me something like I said like two years ago. But what we're going to do, we're going to make a chest monster. And it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. So, let's do it. So I'm actually speaking, you know, after I've made this. So I know what you what you're about to see, and it's um, just brace yourself, like hold on to your chair, um, you know, put your hands hands firmly grasping something because this is this is weird. This is come from a very strange place. I had a bit of help from Dom Rao, and together. This has come from our minds. This is a chest monster, like you've never seen it. And I must admit, this is quite the punishment. It even needed arms, like it, I, it, this started out as just a weird idea. And then it just, it just kept going. It just kept going and going and going. I was like, yeah, I have to make a chest monster. I have to punish myself. So I made this weird thing. It's stuck in the ground and then it went even further. And I was like, yeah, okay, so it's, it needs legs and the legs, of course, have to pop out through. So this chest monster is a bit of art. It's um, it's representing, yeah, my struggle. It. <laughs> I don't. I. I don't think I can look at this without laughing. This is. This is like art. I don't know how else to describe it. I think this has come from my soul, okay? This has come from a place. This is like the representation. This is a physical manifestation of my problem with sorting items. It's even got all of these chests either side and it, he's in such he's in such agony. This is the real representation of the chest monster and my issues. And the worst thing is, uh, this genuinely <laughs> this genuinely ruins my base a little bit. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. It has um ruined my base because <laughs> You could, you could see him through at any point because it's all made out of glass. It, it just, oh, it, it looks so dumb. It looks so dumb, especially as I haven't actually put anything inside any of the other layers. Oh, okay, I got a garden there. I got a completely empty layer, and then he, oh, he looked. Oh my goodness, from this angle, he looks so sad, and then he looks. Uh, I don't know what expression that is. It's, it's just um, struggle. That's struggle. Okay, so now what we need to do is take the actual chest monster here, which is actually going to take me a little while because I, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of bo it's a lot of blocks there. So let's get started. Let's take all this and start moving it all upstairs. Fly into the mouth. So I've made a decent amount of space in here, and then off we go. We just gotta we just gotta start placing them. Now these items are gonna be pretty much unusable from now on. So if I if I actually need anything out of these, it's gonna be even more of a pain to get my hands on stuff. This build has genuinely brought a, brought a bit of a tear to my eye. I can't I can't quite take it seriously. I also can't believe I built this thing. I don't know what's come over me. This is so weird. This is just such a weird thing to build. I don't, I, I don't know why I've done this. You know, this actually kind of doubles as a prank because Here's the thing, on Hermitcraft, loads of the Hermits ask for items all the time, but I don't usually include it in my videos. But, you know, we all go like, how, has anyone got emerald blocks? Has anyone got some quartz I can use? Like, you know, that's that sort of trading stuff happens all the time, if especially if there's not a shop for it. And it's like, yeah, 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 sure, you know, just, just head over to my base and grab some. So this is going to end up being a hilarious prank, because this is now technically my new item storage, my new item sorter. So if anyone asks me, can I borrow this, this or this? I will say, yeah, sure, no problem. Just go and check my item storage. <laughs> and lo and behold, they'll have to come and see this thing. And then they'll have to look through all of these boxes and realize they can't even open the ones on the bottom. Oh man, I think probably one of my favorite things about this are the little feet. <laughs> this guy looks like... He needs a name. 
He needs a name. What's his name? Is it just the chest monster? I think it is the chest monster. But he he genuinely looks like he's stuck. This is what you should all be thinking of when you see a chest monster on the floor. And I think I think Scar actually could do with one of these. You know what? This actually looks pretty cool with all of these shulker boxes here in the mouth like this. It actually looks awesome. I, I just actually think there might be more shulker boxes than he can eat. I genuinely, I genuinely can't wait for someone to come and have a look for something. You know what the problem is though? Actually, it's probably going to be me, isn't it? It's, it's, you know, I've just thought about this for a second. I've let this, this thought process in my mind. The person who's going to need these shulker boxes the most is me. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm used to looking through shulker boxes, but not like this. Not like this. This is insane. I should have at least, I should have at least like gone through them and taken the ones that have actual value. Most of them have rubbish in. Like, look, I'm never going to use a loom, 63 books, a couple of weird red banners and some thorns. Like, you know, there's just, there's some utter trash in most of these boxes. But yet some of them, maybe I can hit gold on one of them. Look, this one, for ex I'm going to need, you know what, I'm going to need those. Let's, I gotta keep those somewhere. Ridiculous. And I think that one, that one had the redstone blocks it. You know, some of these have, like this one, rubbish. That's a rubbish one. That, this one here, mega value. What am I playing at? This is a terrible idea, but I'm still gonna do it. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Uh, useful. Okay, I've kept some, some of the useful ones at least. I'm really gonna regret this. I, I mean, I'm kind of already regretting this just because of the impact that the chest monster has on my base. It was such a beautiful, elegant base, and then, a row, a row. Oh yeah, look, the, it loads in there. That's awesome. This looks cool. I mean, it's it's weird, but it's cool. Okay, let's take a step back, take a look at this, and appreciate. Look at those chest. Look at those shulker boxes in there. It proper fills that up. Oh my goodness. What have I created? A monster. I have created a monster. But it, he's he's kind of cute, kind of terrifying, kind of weird, and makes me feel uncomfortable. But at the same time, this is a physical representation of my struggle for keeping shulker boxes organized. There must have been a hundred shulker boxes in there easily. And I think with that, that is the end of- what a way to end an episode! That is the end of the episode, everybody, and oh my goodness, I don't know how you feel about this. I kind of feel a bit- <laughs> I kind of feel a bit weird about all this. But uh, I'd like to see your comments. Um, it, should he have a different name? Should we name him? I think Chest Monster is fine, personally. But I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And thank you so much. And I mean this, if you're watching uh, to the end of the video, which not many people do, so if you're here, well, well done. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me. I've, uh, you know, life hits you hard sometimes, and it's not always easy to make videos. I will be trying my best to make more and more and more, but you know, sometimes, sometimes life comes at you fast, and, uh, oh, well, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where, whatever this thing goes. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!